The volume of a cylinder is 847 pi centimeter cubed. If it has a radius of 11 centimeters, find its height. So we write down what we're given. The volume equals 847 pi. Then we write down the formula. The formula for a volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. This is given to us in the formula book. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So this is equal to 847 pi. Then we fill in the given dimensions. The radius is 11. We were told that in the question. So we swap the r for 11 with brackets around it. We don't know what the height is and we keep the pi as it is. This is still equal to 847 pi. Now we notice that we have a pi on the left of the equal sign and a pi on the right of the equal sign. And what we want to do is solve for h. So we want to get the h on its own. So we can cancel out both of those pi's because there's one on either side. So 11 squared is 121. So we have 121 h equals 847. So we want to solve for h. So 847 divided by 121 is going to be 7. So the height is equal to 7 centimetres. The volume of a cylinder is 250 pi centimetres cubed. If the radius is 5 centimetres, find its height. So again, we write down what we're given. So the volume is equal to 250 pi. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. And that's equal to 250 pi. So then what we're going to do is fill in what we know. Well, we know the radius is 5, so we swap that r for 5 with brackets around it. So we get pi times 5 squared times h equals 250 pi. We notice we have pi on both sides, so we can cancel those out. So we're left with 5 squared h, and 5 squared is 25, so we get 25 h. So 25 h equals 250, so h is going to be 250 divided by 25. And 250 divided by 25 is going to be 10. So the height will be equal to 10 centimetres. And we can check are we right by subbing what we have back into the formula, which is pi r squared h. So again, the r, the radius, is 5 centimetres. So 5 squared is 25. And 25 times the height, so 25 times 10, is 250 pi. So the height is definitely 10 centimetres.